Just finished my morning workout. That was gnarly. I love training with the yeah, I've been training with him since I was like probably 11 years old and I stopped for a while, but I started back up like last year in October, I think it was. And since I've been training, I've noticed so much changes and improvements in my surfing and I couldn't be more stoked. So I'm gonna keep this up. So it's our morning hike time. Where's the puppies? There they are. And then there's Lucy. <laughs> We're making it up the hill. And again, hiking in my Volcom slippers, bike in these slippers, hike in these slippers. I do everything in these slippers. Come on, let's go guys. Let's go. Run, run, run like the wind. A super steep trail you can't tell like how steep this trail is oh that's super steep even for me that was like vertical and they made it, they made it. good job snuggles and nuggets <laughs> these dogs are athletes <laughs> oh, they did so good in their hikes say hi guys they did amazing and now we're gonna go home you're gonna eat we're hiking with their big brother and big sister bandit Okay, so I'm back home. I just got back from hiking with my sister. Right now I'm gonna go surfing. It's super windy outside and the waves are pretty small and weak. So the board that I'm gonna use today is my A2 model. This is what it looks like. There's all these like cool you can't really see it unless you come super close. There's like these like little lines in it. The fins I'm gonna use, the Jordy Smith fins. These fins, I feel like they work really well when the waves are kind of like weaker. They release really easily for me and they're not super stiff. So that's why I really like it in smaller surf. Once the waves get bigger, these fins kind of slide out for me, but that's just me. Maybe not for other people. I almost forgot to mention, the Challenger Series is coming up. That is coming up in May, and I qualified for that. So each region has a certain amount of people that get to qualify to do the Challenger Series. So in our region, we had three girls plus one wild card, so it's going to be four girls from Hawaii jumping on the Challenger Series this season. Uh, this is a little throwback. This was the first stop on the qualifying series. This was at All Mono Bowls. The waves were really, really fun. This was probably one of the funnest contests I ever did just because the whole time the waves were just nonstop. There was tons of opportunity and it was just like a playground out there. So we had to go to Oceanside in California and we went to Florida because we only had two contests in our region. So we had to get com kind of combined with the North American region so that we could have four contests in total. Um, so I went to Oceanside first, I got equal ninth, and then I went to Florida and I did better. I made it to the semifinals and I got an equal third place. So my two best results was All Moana Bowls and Jacksonville, Florida. This contest is super crucial for all the girls in any region of North America or Hawaii, Tahiti because this is like our last contest that is gonna decide whether we make the Challenger Series or we don't make it. So one more, like these points are crucial for all of us. We all wanna make it so badly. So me making it to the round of 16 is just that much closer to making it to the Challenger Series for next year. This whole year there's been so much support from this next generation of little surfer girls and it's awesome seeing how excited they are to come down here every single day, every morning, watching all of us and cheering us on. Whether we win or lose, that's, if that's the first thing we're greeted by, it's like, it's just the best thing ever. 
So traveling to Jacksonville, Florida was super fun, but also kind of nerve-wracking at first because it was a super long flight from Hawaii and there was a hurricane. <laughs> but thankfully, I was traveling with one of my best friends, Malahia Kinimaka, and she made everything super fun and we had kind of the best trip ever. It was in the top three best trips of my life. I, I didn't take that much photos. I wish I took more. I think I was just having way too much fun and I forgot to take photos, but it was a good time. Before I go surfing, I'm just going to sip my little yerba. Pump myself up before I go surf. Now to the surfing clips. We just came in, the waves were super fun. Totu was ripping. Yeah, Totu. How do you like your board? Magic. Volume two. <laughs> we just had a super fun session. It's freezing cold though, so we're gonna go home. And Totu are eating dinner. Nothing feels better than eating a nice dinner after a really long day and taking a hot shower. So now we're gonna cruise, watch Netflix, go to sleep. So I just finished picking these tea leaves. I'm gonna go and make a couple tea leaf ways now. It is our dear friend, the legend, Larry Haynes. It's his paddle out today at Sunset Beach. So I'm gonna be making these lays and we're gonna celebrate his life. So that's what's gonna go on today. <laughs> After the paddle out, I decided to go and catch a couple waves because I think that's what Larry would have wanted. He always loved watching everyone surf and he loved surfing himself, so I went and caught a couple waves for Larry. Girl, I want to lock you in, I'll wrap you in me arms. Yeah. 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 
Woman, I love the spice, I love the spice, I love the fashion you bring. Brown skin. Girl, I want to love you in the room. Brown skin. Woman, I love the spice, I love the spice, I love the fashion you bring. The way you smile, the way you attire, the way you blend colors just as good. I love you, girl. It was a really nice night with family, friends. Really nice way to end the day. Now it's time to go to sleep, get ready to wake up tomorrow morning, and go work out. <laughs>